Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy, it's Firelight 2K7 and we are back for a brand new Grand Auto 5 Firefighter mod video. Today, we're going to start out at the Fort Zancudo Fire Station here at the Fort Zancudo Air Base. And we're going to be using the M1142 Tactical Firefighting Truck. Now, this thing has a water cannon on the front and we're able to control it from the inside of the truck. And we can actually use it to put out fires without even stepping foot out of the truck, which is awesome. Now, I do have a partner with me as well. He's going to help out with controlling the nozzle. I'm going to work on uh, driving the truck or I'm going to focus on driving the truck. We also have lights and sirens as well. And um, yeah, this should be a lot of fun. We haven't used this truck in probably over a year or so. So I think a lot of you guys are going to like it. And um, yeah, let's fight some fires. <laughs> let's see what we get into today, guys. So again, we could control the nozzle from inside and we're able to fight fires. You ready, partner? All right, let's do this. Code 1.2.0, right, electrical fire, generator on fire, location, Fort Zancudo, street, Fort Zancudo approach RD. All right, guys, we're getting a report of a generator fire here. Let's go ahead and respond to that. All right, just make sure the runway is clear. We're going to go ahead and cross. Now, one thing you guys may notice on this truck that's a little bit different from in real life, it actually has eight wheels steering in the game. That's just because of the way GTA 5 works. It's kind of hard to make the front two wheels turn without making the rear two wheels turn as well. All right, here we are. We are on scene. And it looks like these generators caught on fire. So let's stop it before it spreads and hit those tanks there. We definitely do not want that to happen. All right, so this was a pretty light fire. Okay, this part is a little tricky here. You know what, I think it's hitting the gate more than it's hitting the generator. Actually, it looks like it's about out, but let's drive in here to make sure. This truck is awesome here. Huge shout out to Skyline GTR Freak for making this one. And as always, I will link it down below in the video description. Alright guys, so it looks like the fire is out. Let's just get out to confirm. I'm going to leave my door open because I've been having a weird glitch today where the truck keeps locking it. So, but it looks like the fire is out. These generators, they kind of just like smoke by default. So even though it's still smoking, the fire is actually out. So we're good. Happy we're able to knock it out before these things caught on fire and went up because, whew, that would have been terrible. All right, so let's let dispatch know we are going to be heading back to the station. And I got locked out. All right, there we go. So let's head back to the station. We'll refill our water and we'll see what else happens. The tower had cleared us to cross the runway. <laughs> Look at all these fire trucks just spawned out of nowhere. Alright, so we are back. We'll get the truck filled up again and we'll be ready for the next one. Fire. Ammunition storage on fire, location, Fort Zancudo, street, 
reports and Kudo approach RD. Alright guys, getting in a report of another fire. Let's go ahead and let the tower know we're going to be responding. They have cleared us to cross the runway. It looks like the fire is going to be right in front of us. Oh, run buddy, run! Oh, shoot! Alright, we had a fighter jet that just blew up. This is crazy. Too bad I can't use any of Rockstar Editor footage from here. Still a little bit of first person. This is a really cool truck though. If you guys enjoyed the video do me a favor make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button leave some comments down below and do a timestamp too like in the comment section just put the time point of the video let me know which part of the video was your favorite too so as you watch it um i guess at the end whenever you stop watching just do a timestamp of your favorite parts or part definitely is appreciated helps to uh, give me feedback so i can know what you guys like Oh, it's still going. Alright. I think I have to, like, get behind this plane, maybe. I'm gonna try to pull it, so I just attach to it. And we're gonna try to pull it out. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it hit something. Oops. Alright, there we go. That's the winch mod there. That's the separate mod, but I figured that would be helpful. Looks like we are good, guys. Alright, fire is going to be under control. Let's go ahead and head back towards the station. And also let time cycle. Gotta wait for the uh, air traffic control to clear us. Alright, we're clear. These nice spotlights on top, too. That's pretty cool. So, some other cool features of the truck we also have a portable ladder on the side. We have some more nozzles right here that we could pull out, and uh, some hand lines that we could pull out and use to extinguish fire. So, it's a really nice truck, versatile, and um, yeah, that's what the US military uses in real life. I believe it could also like carry foam too, so foam is good for like, um, especially with like airplane fires and stuff because of jet fuel. So it's good at putting out that kind of stuff as well. But really nicely detailed truck here. All right, so we'll just uh, stand by and wait until we get the next call. Code 1.2.0, electrical fire. Electrical panel on fire, location, Fort Zancudo, Street, 
reports and Kudo approach RD. Alright guys, we're gonna report of an electrical fire. Let's respond to that. It keeps spawning like random people hunting around the base. But we'll just say that the uh, the military they're doing target practice. Alright, let's cross the runway. I thought there was a crossing point here. Alright, so this fire looks like it's gonna be near one of the sheds. Oh, look at that tank. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see that up there. All right. Are we going to be able to put this out? We may have to get out and uh, use our, like, put on our firefighting gear and go up there and try to extinguish that fire. I don't know if we could shoot that high. I'm going to try. Looks like we're getting it. Sorry you guys can't really see this part, but I think I'm hitting it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're hitting it. Perfecto. I'm probably still gonna have to go up there though, because I'm sure I'm gonna miss some spots. That looks so cool though. Oh, I think we got it. Yeah, it looks like we got it, guys. Oh, nope, we got more over here. I did not see that. <laughs> It looks like it may have went out by itself, but we'll just shoot a little bit more just to make sure. Alright, I think that's good. I always forget to let dispatch know that we're on scene. <laughs> Alright, back to the station. Alright, again, I gotta make sure we're cleared from the tower. I'm surprised we haven't really seen any hel uh, said helicopters, because I'm looking at a helicopter. We haven't seen any planes take off or land today. Normally, you'll see them taking off here at the base, but all I have seen is helicopters. code 1.1.0 other fire unspecified wood boxes on fire location Fort Zancudo Street Fort Zancudo approach RD alright guys we got another one alright they're clearing us to cross Oh 
Oh shit, the guys are running out. And we're running in. Oh, uh oh, this is an interior fire. Alright, we definitely may have to get out and fight this thing. We're being really lazy today. We are. I keep saying we're gonna get out of the fire truck to like put out these fires, but it's just so much fun using the truck compared to using a fire extinguisher. I don't know. Do you guys agree? Should we get out or should we just stay in the truck? <laughs> this thing is fun. Yeah, so that looks like everything. Let them know we're heading back. Starting to get dark now, guys. I actually don't think I. Oh, shoot. Hello. <laughs> Almost drove into a tank. I don't think I've been on the military base like at night, really. Code, 1.1.0, other fire unspecified, fire in a hangar, location, Fort Zancudo, street, Fort Zancudo approach RD. Alright guys, I gotta run, got a fire, got a whole hangar up this time. Of course, he's not going to yield to us. That's fine. Man, we had fires all around the base today. This is crazy. Woo! I think the part outside blew up again. Turn on our extra lights.
<laughs> the fire hose is on fire. And the fire extinguisher is on fire, that's funny. Knock this part out. Oh, man, I don't have my gear on me though. I don't even have a fire extinguisher. Oh no, I do. Oh yeah, I have a fire extinguisher. Alright, um, let's see. Let's just put on a random thing. <laughs> oh my god, more shooting. All, we, you know, all this shooting, we need to do a military police patrol, guys. What you guys think about that? Military police patrol, maybe? I think we have to do that. Come on, fire. This part does not want to go out. we knock the fire out let's go see what's going on outside with those shots fired <laughs> but anyway guys i really do hope you guys enjoyed today's episode we switched it up a bit we did uh the firefighter mine and we got to use some military mods as well so let me know what would you guys like to see us do in the next episode you know what i think i'm gonna go let's go arrest whoever that is because they're causing like a lot of trouble here in the base running around and hunting or whatever they're doing let's go look for them that's an officer t oh more fire crap all right hold up I gotta take this guy down. Oh, wait, no. He's not the one shooting. He's responding. Alright. Oh, damn. Alright, the fire's out. Let's go look and try to arrest him. I gotta drive all the way over here to get in there. I'm gonna have to break through this. Don't worry. Taxpayers will pay for it. Wait, there's a police car here, too? What, what is going on right now? It seems like they're in there or something. <laughs> I'm just gonna break every gate until I figure out how to get in there. <laughs> Can we even go in there? What the heck? Who are you? How do we get up there? We gotta get up there, hold up. There's a... Uh, that person should not be on the base. Is this open? No. Alright, I'm just gonna put myself in there because I cannot find a way in. Alright, we're about to arrest this guy. Hold. Oh, great. Firefighters by day, military police by night. I think he probably despawned. Oh, nope, he's still here, yes. Sir, put your hands up. Put your hands up, sir. LSPD, I will kill you. 
Drop the weapon, sir. Drop the weapon. I'm not going to tell you again. Drop the weapon, sir. Be stupid. I want to kill you. Get down on the ground. I don't know what you're doing here. This is U.S. military. I don't know the word I was going to say. This is a U.S. military property? Airbase? Something like that? And you are unauthorized here with a sniper rifle. I have no idea how you got here, got on top, or how this pig got here, but you're going to be going to jail, sir. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pat him down. Pocket knife, wallet, use the needle and vibrator. What's his name? Mark Wright. Let's run his name real quick, too. Mark Wright. Valid knife to Lawrence. All right, well, he's going to jail anyway because he's trespassing on a government facility but anyway guys hope you did enjoy the episode let me know if you guys would like to see a military police video as well but thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace